Hey everybody, this is Structural Steve again. In this video, I'm going to show you how to bottle steel eye girders in OpenBridge Modeler using Microsoft Excel. So in the last video, I showed you how to model those steel girders, you know, in the normal workflow, the typical workflow where you go through this dialog here and you just add kind of line by line here and enter it in, you know, the thickness and the start and end value for, in this case, the top flange, you know, widths and the material and things like that. And, you know, that was good. And then we can, co we can always copy those properties to other girders to kind of help speed up the process. But, you know, there is another trick that I left out for this particular video here, and that's, you know, how do we use Microsoft Excel to have actually help us speed up this process? Because, you know, entering data in Excel is going to be quicker and faster than, you know, entering it in a single Excel, in this case here, in this dialog here. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and delete all these rows here. And then we'll just say we assume, actually, let's delete this last one here too. So you always want to start with, you know, at least one row here to get the, the general properties here. And I'll go ahead and fill this out just to get it right so that when I copy it into Excel and work it from it there, then it'll be okay. And honestly, I can just go ahead and take this here. I'm gonna right click on it and copy. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and open up an Excel. Drag it over here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and paste and then from here, I can go ahead and fill this information out. So I'm just going to go ahead and just resize these to make them a little bit uh, nicer and you know easier to see what's going on here. If you ever wonder what, what these numbers represent, you can always kind of drag that down and, and look at those headers uh, up top here in this dialog here as well. So, you know, that location type head is good for that one. Relative location for the first one is going to be zero. That's fine. You know, from is just a blank uh, column there. And then I'm not going to enter any of this information, but then when I get to, you know, the thickness, and then the uh, start and end values actually over here. These are the ones that I'm gonna start editing over here. So I can just go in here and you know, enter in whatever this needs to be. So in this case here, I'm gonna go ahead and put in uh, thickness. I think that's this one here, put 1.5 inches. Make these a little bit bigger, just to make them easier to see actually. And then my start value is gonna be 30 inches wide for the top flange ending at 30 inches as well and then you know from here you can just copy down and um, you know build your stuff from here but in my case you know the design program i use i already have this information you know in a, a C csv file or an excel file that i can just kind of copy paste over here so that way i'm not entering in you know mainly i'm just going to copy it from the program that it came from and then paste it into here so first thing i'll do is i'll paste in all my relative locations that i have for my different sections can just paste those values and then do my thicknesses next actually those thicknesses I believe belong over here so let me go and fix that like that and then finish up with my widths And really that's all the information I need. Now I can go ahead and take this and drag this down here. And then I'm gonna copy and paste this right back into OpenBridge Modeler from Excel. So I'm gonna copy that, drag that off to the side, then I'm gonna right click and paste. And voila, now look, I got all my information here directly copied from that Excel file. Um, that came from the, the design program. So whether you're just you know entering your information in Excel here and then uh, copying it back into there or taking it from an Excel file that you know, you're able to generate from say an analysis software and then manipulate to get in the format you need here. Um, you know, either way, it is quicker to do it through Excel like this as opposed to just going in here, double clicking in here and then manually entering in every single value in here. Even if you're copying and pasting them, it still takes a bit of time. So, you know, that one trick I like to do is to, you know, take the format here from my first row, copy it, paste it into Excel or take an Excel file that I already have from a design file and then use that to manipulate the, the input data here for these steel girders, paste it back in here, and then go from there. And that's all I have for this video. I hope you liked that video. If you did, go ahead and hit that subscribe button that you see on your screen now. Give the video a like and share it with others. See you guys in the next video.